with Deku was Kakuri, part one. We start this one off in the hero meeting with the top ten heroes, Nezu, and all that. As some of the heroes are waiting for, like, the remaining people to arrive, like All Might, Aizawa, Nezu, and a few other heroes. Endeavor is getting all fired up, mad, like, what's taking them so long? As the number three hero, the one with the string quirk, Best Genius, I believe. Sorry, I have a hard time remembering his name. Calm down, Endeavor. After all, you can't expect them to show up. They're busy people. What? They're teachers at UA? Is that what you're saying? They're busy? All Might is the number one hero. I can understand if All Might's busy. But what's the problem with Aizawa and Nezu? You realize he runs a school. Yes. As then the doors burst open, revealing uh, Aizawa and Nezu as they walk in. Well, we will start this meeting as All Might's secretary, which is technically just All Might in his Small Might form, comes in to observe the meeting. Today, we have a very important matter to discuss. As he then puts down his book and gets serious, which one of you attacked Big Mom's supply chain a few days ago? As all of them are shocked, what? Big Mom? As a lot of them are confused. Big Mom is one of the emperors of the sea. Very feared villain. Then we should take her down, Endeavor says. We cannot. She has an army at her back. As well as children that does her, does her bidding. As Ryuko, the dragon here, speaks up, children? Yes, she has a lot of children that serve serve her as subordinates. One of them, and a few of them, have been granted sweet generals. And currently, one of them is making their way to Japan right now. So what, we can defeat them? Endeavor. No, we can't. If we try to fight him, it's a death wish. After all, it's the strongest of the sweet generals, Katakuri. So what? This man has a bounty over one billion. Shocking everyone in the room. He's also one of the strongest in the Big Mom Pirates. In fact, the second strongest are than Big Mom, the Emperor herself. So what? We can team up and just take him out. As he starts to suspect something. Question. Endeavor, you said you attacked a villain group a while back. Yeah. Did this villain group have warehouses? Yes. Did they have a f symbol on them? Like a flag? Now that you mention it, I believe they did. I didn't really stick around. I simply burned all their supplies. You idiot! That was a warehouse belonging to Big Mom. The only reason they were staying out of things until now was because they were getting food supplies from our country. What? You can't be serious. We're giving food to villains? That's even more of a reason that I burned it down. You're crazy, Endeavor. And you're obviously too stupid to understand. As he gets furious and gets up, stupid, as his flames are verge out of him as Aizawa races his quirk as the flames disappear. <sighs> Big Mom is so powerful that she can take out countries. Surprising everyone in the room. Imagine what her one of her children and one of our strongest children can do. If if we cannot negotiate, Japan might be destroyed. Shocking all the heroes. So if we can manage to convince this child of Big Mom, we might be able to negotiate and saying this was just a misunderstanding. We have to play it smart. And no funny business. 
That means no attacking him, no trying to arrest him or anything. The Big Mom Pirates are, for, are formidable. It will be very hard to take down. In fact, we don't even stand a chance. What's so tough about this sweet general, anyway? One of the heroes asked. Simple. This one that has a, a bounty over a billion can also see into the future. Shocking everyone. Is that his quark? I do not know. But we... I have heard he's been able to see into the future. As they start whispering amongst themselves. Now calm down. As long as we can find a negotiating path. As Endeavor gets up. Why negotiate with villains? They all deserve to perish. As he flames up. As Mirko, I uh, can't remember what number of heroes she was, but she stands up. I want to fight this Kakuri. You would both lose. After all, he's a, he's the second strongest in the Big Mom Pirates. You don't stand a chance. So do as I ask and do not do nothing. We let them cause whatever they want and give them more food than the usual and maybe some treasure and they may leave us alone. We can go back onto living like there was no problem with them. I suppose you're right. Uh, All Might says. After all, I did fought one of the children of Big Mom a while back. We're sorry. All Might fought one of Big Mom's children a while back. Shocking everyone. He did? Yes, it was one of the Sweet Generals. Uh, I think it was Sweet General 3, Cracker. He stood... He stood no chance against him. In fact, he... He got defeated quite swiftly by him. He was lucky that the General Cracker let him live. He took some serious injuries. And he's not even the strongest of the sweet generals. As they start contemplating on this. So if all might fail, there's no way we yet can stand a chance. Alright, everyone. Now, as long as we see avoid contact with the Big Mom Pirates and don't cause any trouble with them, we should be fine. Meeting is adjourned. As people walk out, as we see one of, we see a, a girl in a suit walk out, and goes around a corner and pulls out a transponder snail. Takata Curry ship, repeat, Takata Curry ship. What is it? What is it, reptile? Codename reptile. Yes, uh, the heroes plan to do nothing. They plan to sit by, let Kakuri do his destruction. Or just try to convince him to take the food and more money. To try to de-escalate things with the Big Mom Pirates. I'll inform Kakuri. Thank you for your work. Of course. Click. Uh, as the subordinate goes to find Kakuri, as they are just off the port of Japan. As the subordinate knocks on the door, Sir Kakuri, as we see Kakuri laying down, as he moves something off of his eyes, what is it? I got a report from our spy in Japan's Heroes Agency. What is it? It seems they plan to do nothing and supposed to bribe you. As he looks over, gets up, and opens the door. They plan to do what? They're hoping they can de-escalate the situation with giving you treasure and more food. They obviously don't know anything. Change of plans. Since they obviously don't care what happens to their citizens, We're going straight for the Hero Safety Hero Agencies all over Japan. Everyone in the area 
that's here, destroy it. And inform all the workers of the Big Mom factories here to bring their families in the factories if they want protection from, the, from this conflict. They will be offered food and supplies. And living expenses will be paid for if any damages happen. After all, they are workers of Big Mom. Fair point, sir. I shall inform someone to say that right away. Is there anything else to report? There seems to... Well, we did get this report a few days ago about a villain group called the LOV. There's rumors about a person named All for One who is as strong as All Might. Ah, uh, you mean the person that lost to my little brother, Cracker. Yes, sir. He should be no problem, then. If he's equivalent to strength with him, he should be easy to take care of. Of course, Kakari, sir. And I inform, inform any operatives that are currently spying on the Hero Safety Commission or the Hero Headquarters to, to get out of there. Because this is going to be a full-on massacre. Which agencies are most near us? The SEAL Hero, and a couple other hero agencies all throughout. We targeting them all? We'll target, we'll target everyone over to the Hero Safety Commission headquarters. I want it destroyed every building that belongs to a hero safety, co hero person, hero agency destroyed. Keep, keep damage to a minimum though. We're not going to destroy the entirety of Japan. Of course, sir. Just destroy the buildings. I'll go inform them. As he walks off. The heroes just had to make it worse. They want to try to bribe me. We'll let them try. As then... He, he goes over and walks to another one of his subordinates. Prepare a meeting with the heroes of UA. And also, inform all of them to destroy those hero, those hero agencies right when the meeting starts. Yes, sir. Also, if y'all choose so, destroy a top hero agency. One of the strongest. I don't care what you do. Just do it. Yes, Kai Curry, sir. As he walks off, as he walks to the top deck to observe, as they're roll, they're sh they're strolling into Japan with their ship. When are we gonna be able to port? Uh, sir, we'll be able to port in about twenty minutes. Good. As we hear ring, ring, ring. Click. Hello. Hello, little brother. Peros. What are you calling me for? Well, I was coming to check over if you were dealing with the uh, issue in Japan. I'm taking care of it. Oh, that is excellent. Now, I'm sure you will not leave a single one. I'm Currently, I'm informing all the people that work in the factories of Big Mom. Take their family and residents to the factories, so they do not get caught up in the conflict. After all, we don't want our people to be involved. Smart, smart thing, Kaikuri. What else do you plan to do? Let Mom know when I get back, I'll bring the head of the Hero Safety Commission with me. And maybe a top hero or two. That should quell her anger. Also, we'll be coming back with boatloads of sweets for Big Mom. Excellent. That should surely calm Big Mom down. Yes. These heroes shouldn't be a problem, after all. Cracker managed to defeat their top hero. That is true. If Cracker managed to defeat him, he should be a piece of cake for you. Yes. But if they team up, they are not even going to be able to land a hit on me anyway. You're right. After all, no one can beat you, big br or little brother. 
Yes, I know. Now, Peros, how are the siblings? Well, Cracker is currently on in a, a little bit of a journey. Smoothie is coming on back. Um, oven's as hot-tempered as ever. Um, let's see. Uh, Pudding is currently right in her little chocolate area. And, uh, well, that's all I can really report right now. I don't know what the other siblings are doing. I've been too busy working in the main area. Well, do inform them. I will be back within a month's time. After all, I do plan to bring back a lot of stuff, so it may be a little bit longer. I also got a strange letter from Big Mom saying she wants me to return as soon as I'm done here. Do you know what that's about? Unfortunately, I do not know, Katakuri. Well, I guess I'll find out when I get there. Well, you have a nice journey. Oh, and also, if you're going to bring back a head of a hero, maybe one that's been on my nerves, can you bring back his head? Now I'm curious, which hero managed to, to irritate you, Peros? Oh, I simply, I don't care if you bring this person here alive or dead, but a real hero that's been a pain is Hawks. If you can take him out for me, what did he do to get on your bad side? Well, you see, I get a fresh batch of tea from Japan every now and then. And I also found out that Hawks destroyed our tea supply recently. On the same day, Endeavor destroyed our food supply. So not only did they destroy our sweets, but they also destroyed the very calming tea I would have for my morning breakfast. Let me guess, the tea that we can only get from Japan. Yes. Note, I may bring him back alive, and you can finish him off. That would be most actually beneficial for me. I would definitely love to sever his head off his shoulders. Or maybe put him in candy and watch him suffocate. Uh... Well, Peros, we are docking now. I will talk to you when I get back, or on the journey back. Have a nice... Have a nice planning and attack, Katakuri. Click. As he puts his arms across his shoulders. So, we have landed. Yes. As we see uh, a vehicle up front, it seems the heroes have already come, sir. Continue with the plan. As Kakari, who's really tall, walks off the ship. As the person that was sent there is obviously in shock on how tall Kakari is. I think he's like 16 feet. 16, 17 feet. Uh, sorry if my accuracy is, is uh, off. Uh, Kakari, sir. One of the big generals. Currently, the head of UA, Nezu, and several heroes would like to meet with you. Alright. We'll meet in a place I choose. No funny business. Of course. There's an old abandoned warehouse over on the west side that belongs to Big Mom. It's already been cleared out. We'll meet there. You got that? I'll inform them right away. As the man gets into his car, drives off. You're going to let him go? It's time. Listen, plans take time. And trust me, these heroes won't have much time after I'm done with them. Of course, Kakuri, sir. But I, I think it's about time for your afternoon tea. What do we have today? We have some delicious donuts made from various types of ingredients. We got chocolate, we got vanilla, we've got some filling donuts as well. What about the tea? Hot tea as usual for you, Katakuri. It's in your chambers. I wish not to be disturbed. 
as he walks back to his chambers. As then, the chefs would praise and how Kakari so strong and all that. As we go back to the same man that met up with Kakuri, and he's now talking with Nezu. He said he wants to meet at one of Big Mom's abandoned warehouses. It's been abandoned, cleared out for a meeting. You're allowed to bring as many heroes as you want. Just know, if you bring too many, this could be a, a very bad thing and he might decide to attack. Yes, we'll bring the strongest with him with me, just to secure our safety. The Hero Safety Commission President is also on her way. Well, that's good. After all, it does seem like he was a bit angry when I talked to him. How tall is this Katakuri? About 16 feet, really tall. As everyone, everyone that was in the room heard that was shocked. He's that tall? Yes. Well, we should prepare for this meeting. Go. Inform the Hero Safety Commission, President. I shall. As Aizawa speaks up, so who's coming? Obviously, we'll have to take the top ten. We don't stand a chance of beating a sweet general. So gather, gather all of them up. We'll head there immediately. And that is the end of part one of What If Deku Was Caught a Curry. Hopefully, y'all like and subscribe for more.